In our previous class, we discussed about the topic Methods of controlling harmful diseases in agriculture In our class today we will be discussing the topic Methods of controlling harmful insects in agriculture In agriculture, harmful insects can cause damage to crops and reduce yields Farmers use different methods to control these pests and protect their plants Basic methods of controlling harmful insects Cultural control Cultural control involves practices that manipulate the environment to discourage insect pests. This method includes Crop rotation Planting different crops in a specific order helps prevent the buildup of pests that target a particular crop. Removing crop residues Clearing and disposing of leftover plant material after harvest reduces the presence of overwintering pests. Weed control Regular weeding prevents weeds from hosting and providing shelter for insects. Biological control Biological control involves the use of natural enemies to control harmful insects. Some common methods of biological control are Predators Introducing predators like ladybugs and lacewings that feed on harmful insects can help reduce their populations. Parasitoids These are insects that lay their eggs in or on the body of a pest. The emerging parasitoid larvae consume the pest, controlling its population. Pathogens Certain diseases caused by bacteria, viruses, or fungi can be used to target specific pests and reduce their numbers. Chemical control Chemical control involves the use of insecticides to kill or repel harmful insects. It is essential to use these chemicals safely and responsibly. Some key points to remember are Follow instructions, read and follow the instructions on the label of the insecticide carefully. Protective clothing Wear appropriate protective clothing such as gloves, masks, and goggles when applying insecticides. Timing Apply insecticides at the recommended time to target the vulnerable stages of the pests. Environmental considerations Be aware of the potential impact of insecticides on non-target organisms and the environment. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.